Crack everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we have an absolutely epic video. But before that, I want to say Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope that your 2021 year is going to be your best year you ever had. And we're going to be doing some epic giveaways in today's video as well. First off, we're going to be announcing in the comment section down below the winner for the Genesis Impact First Edition Booster Box. So look for your username to see if you are the lucky winner. And then we have not one, not two, but three giveaways. And I'm gonna announce the winner of these giveaways in the comment section of our next video. But first off, the first giveaway is going to be a full set of Exodia, the Forbidden One. Wait, we have another one here. The second winner will receive All Bless the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and the Wing Dragon of Ra. You know, like, that's pretty cool. And we have our third winner is going to be receiving a Ultra Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Ultra Rare Red Eyes Black Dragon, and the Dark Magician. And all you have to do to be able to enter into this contest is be a subscriber, hit that subscribe, hit that bell that's right next to us so you get notified when I post future openings because I will be announcing the winner of all three of these, the three winners in the comment section of our next video. Give this video a like, comment down below your favorite card you see in today's video or what you have planned for the 2021 year. I'd love to be able to hear what you guys have planned and what you have in store. For me personally, I'm just gonna try to like step up the content here on the channel. I'm gonna try to make these nice longer videos to make them like a special treat for you guys. Try to post a few videos a week and I've been having such a blast doing it. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. But turn to this contest and again hit that bell so you get notified so you know if you've won or not and i'll announce the winner in the comment section of our next video so stay tuned for that so let's get into the actual video itself so we have these mystery cubes that came from target and they are actually really cool so every single value cube has a legend of blue eyes booster pack in it which i thought was really cool and then the next one is like a mystery like you get the metal raider so metal raiders pack the issue with these cubes that i have is the price tag the price tag of the cube is 19.99 each so it is a lot we're gonna be popping open quite a few of these i believe it's five here in total so like 100 bucks I'm gonna pop it up on these cubes. You only get two booster packs in it. And as you can see, you got two rares, one promo card and 20 sleeves. The promo card's kind of cool because you actually get to see it. And this one right here was awesome because it actually has the Dark Magician in there. And then we have some of their mystery blister packs. I couldn't resist. I saw a blue ice pack in it and there's like, there's three booster packs plus one foil card. And I've actually seen this blister packs not only at Target, I saw them over at Michael's and was some other store, Rite Aid, I believe, Rite Aid or a Walgreens or something I was in, they had them there as well. This one has an Invasion and Chaos booster pack. This one, I'm not exactly sure what that is in there, but there's three there's three booster packs in all of these. So we're gonna be popping open all of these in today's video and hopefully Jerry Beans Man blessed our polls. All right, so without any further ado, everybody, let's get cracking. All right, so we're obviously gonna start with the value cubes and we'll move over to these blister packs and see if, uh, well, these are, cool. these are kind of cool and their price wasn't too bad. I think they were like, $8.99, so, so nine bucks. So basically you're paying $3 a booster pack, which isn't terrible. These on the other hand, paying $20, you're paying $10 per booster pack. And there are some people on line, oh my gosh, I saw people on eBay asking $60 for these things. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. <laughs> like, whoa, that is insane. But I guess some some stores, some people don't get them and they, they want to make a profit so i mean i i get that aspect but my gosh that seems a little bit extreme all right so as you know or you don't know every one of these value cubes it's a staple to have a giant block of styrofoam literally we've been opening up the target value cubes since they've come out and i want to say they've came out probably like oh, like seven years ago or something so actually pretty crazy and here are the contents of our first cube all right, so we have our Junk Speeder is our secret rare here. Pretty cool. Put that over there with our Jerry Beans Man. Then we have our Spell Riddle Booster Pack and the Legend of Blue Eyes Booster Pack, our 20-pack of sleeves. So the issue with these sleeves, from the last time we opened up some of these cubes a while back, or actually any time they do these, they always, almost always give us standard size sleeves. And standard size means they're like, they'll fit like Magic the Gathering Pokemon. You see all that extra slack right there? So it would fit a standard card which would be like, like Pokemon, <laughs> Match of the Gathering, so on and so forth. So that is the issue with those. And then we have our two rare cards. 
We'll put that over here on the side. And again, so let's pop this thing open right here. So Speller is really cool. We had some really incredible luck. We opened up a, we pulled a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. It wasn't that long ago. So that was really, really cool. And hopefully we can go and uh, continue that luck in today's video. All right, let's see if we can get a foil out of here. Snake Fang. It's actually a creepy card for our first card. The Horn of Light. Very cool. Nice little quick play there. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. If you're going to pull a rare, this is actually excellent. Sinju of the Thousand Hands. You normal summon this, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So it's like a Stratos for the ritual decks, which is really, really cool. So a very good rare from this set. So if you're not going to pull a foil, again, an excellent rare to pull. Malevolent Nuzzler. I remember playing that card. A yeah, pretty cool equipment spell. All right, so on to the Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. If you don't know, this is the first... Uh, first base set that came out in the US. It has Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and the Unstoppable Exodia. Of course, some other amazing cards. Trihorn Dragon, some very powerful spell cards, Regeki, Dark Hole, Monster Born, and a rare card, which is Pot of Greed. It's cool, so the, the Book of Secret Arts, it doesn't have a feather on it, there's two different arts of it. They were saying this one was like the misprint, but it's obviously, it's, it's not. Maybe it's misprint, but it's the first edition, I'm not exactly sure. But on the limited booster packs, I've noticed it never has a feather, so. <laughs> Don't know. And these booster packs, you're going to see they have a lot of normal monsters in it. All right, so this is our rare. What does this card do? Select and destroy two of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters. I guess it's not too bad if you had scapegoats. <laughs> pop two of your scapegoats and pop their monster. Not too bad. I actually pulled a misprint of one of these. It was like split down the middle, and that image was like 50 50. It was really, really strange. And then sandstone. Very cool. All right, so on to our next. So this one right here was cool because, again, I got to see the promo on it, which was the Dark Magician. And we'll be opening up a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack and a Spell World booster pack again. Very cool. And, like, again, there was a, one, a couple of them here, one or two of them here. They had a Metal Riders booster pack, which is awesome. Really, really cool, iconic set. And, again, I have, uh, I've mentioned it in previous videos. I really want to pull a... Ultra Rare Mirror Force from one. I think that'd be really awesome. I have yet to pull a Mirror Force from a Metal Raiders booster pack. So that is one of my one of my goals. All right, so here we are. We have a Dark Magician, one of the big fan favorites. Also, one of you are gonna have a chance of winning one. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what our two rares are. There's our two rares, and then we have our Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack, our 20 pack of sleeves, and our Spell Ruler booster pack. Let's pop this thing open. Let's see if we can get ourselves a foil. Come on! Jerry Beans, man, give me your energy. Give me your energy. We need it. Ooh, Crab Turtle. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool comment. I love it. Metal Fish. Oh, right! Oh, we actually ended up getting a foil of the Black Illusion Ritual. That is awesome. The, the Ritual spell card for Relinquish. Really cool. Probably one of the biggest fan favorite Ritual monsters that came out back in the day. Uh, it was uh, Relinquish and into the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Really, really epic when they're showing these on the show. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We actually ended up pulling a foil. All right, so let's get this. Let's get this little beauty sleeved up here. Put that over there with our Jerry Beans Man. It's a, such a cool looking card. I think this is my favorite looking ritual spell card. That is awesome. I love the like the smoke coming out of, the, of those the, like the vases and stuff. Such a cool looking card. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so what do we have here? Horn of the Unicorn. Very cool. Another one of these boar soldiers. Another malevolent nuzzler. Ooh, the slot machine. Always reminds me of Bandit Keith. Him uh, cheating and putting those uh, 777 cards in his sleeve. <laughs> it's like crazy. And to our next booster pack, the Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see if we can pull a foil out of here. That would be epic. Skull Red Bird. Ooh, we got a nice little samurai here. Very awesome. The Man Eater. And we have a burn car. What does this one burn for? 500? Yes. 500 points of damage. And... Final Flame. This one burns for 600. It's a rare card. A pretty terrifying looking card. <coughs> Another Sandstone. Pretty cute looking card right here. Alright, on to our next value cube. Let's see what we can pull, what this one has. This one has the same as those other ones. Let's go and mix it up and pull... Oh, that one's a cool one. This one has Slifer the Sky Dragon in it. That is really awesome. What a cool cube. The nice little uh, promo to give away to us. Let's pop this thing open and see. Oh, oh my gosh. This, uh, the paper on this one is uh, was disintegrating from our razor blade. 
Let's pop this one open though. See what we can get out of it. Oh, that's so cool. Even though I'm giving one away to you guys, it's always awesome to be able to get one when you're not expecting. I was not expecting this. I just kind of put the cubes down here. Sly for the Sky Dragon. What a beautiful looking car. What is your favorite god car? Comment down below. I'd love to know. Right, I'm going to say that uh, Obus of Tormentor, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is mine from Kaiba. And what do we have here? Our two rare cards, very cool. Put that over here to the side. Let's get over to our Metal Raiders booster pack and see if we can go and pull ourselves a hollow out of here. That would be awesome. Again, it has Mirror Force, one of my all-time favorite trap cards to ever be printed. Very, very cool. Ooh, nice, a seven-colored fish. Oh my gosh, this is, I ran three copies of this in all of my beatdown decks back in the day. Really cool. Steel Scorpion. Oh my gosh, Sinju, this is my favorite Gate Guardian component. Oh my gosh. So the Gate Guardian's almost, I said on the show, related to Exodia. And this is my favorite component. So you got you got the uh, Suijin, Kajijin. And what was the other one? Suijin, Kajijin. Oh my gosh. Comment down below. I'm just drawing an absolute blank. There's three components. It was absolutely epic, and all three of them turned into the Gate Guardian. This is my favorite one, the water one, Suijin. Very, very awesome. I can't believe we pulled a foil. That is epic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and a rare Sangin. Oh, my goodness. It's a really good booster pack. So let's, uh, I think this one had the best effect as well. Okay, uh, during your opponent during your opponent's damage calculation, you can reduce the attack of one monster attacking this card to zero during damage calculation. Uh, this effect can only be used once while this card remains face up on the field. Very powerful card, 2500 attack, and it just looks absolutely epic, just like Gate Guardian does. Really cool, right on. Then we got Sangen, one of the big staple monsters they played best especially back in the good old days when that monster would get sent to the grave you get to add one 1500 attack or lower monster from your deck to your hand very cool all right and now the legend of blue eyes booster pack let's see if we get something out of here that was really awesome my favorite gate guardian component of course gate guardian himself is my favorite but if we're gonna pull one i mean suijin is awesome and we pulled a skull servant very nice in mountain and here it is. What do we have here? We have a rare metal dragon. Very cool. What is it? A six star, 1850 attack. I always remember whenever I see this, I, I didn't know you had to fusion summon monsters when I was first trying to learn how to play the card game. So I put it in my original deck, trying to just normal summon it. Every single boost LOB pack, I think we've pulled a sandstone out of our pack. So it's just, just a fun fact right there. All right, move over to this one. We have another another Metal Raiders pack, another LOB, and then a Ultra Rare Solemn Strike, which is actually really cool, right? Solemn Strike? Yeah, Solemn Strike. Make sure it wasn't Solemn Warning. I'm drunk, going crazy. All right, let's get this let's get this beauty open and check what check out what is inside. Ultra Rare Solemn Strike. Very cool. That's a nice little uh, nice free gift they just go and add to us. And then we got another pack of 20 sleeves, which I guess is, I mean, you always need sleeves, so. Even though they are oversized, so I'm not gonna be using them for my Yu-Gi-Oh deck, but it's nice to have sleeves. We got our Metal Raiders and our LOB booster pack. Let's see if we can pull something absolutely mere forcey out of here. <laughs> Pulled a foil of our first one. Let's see if we can continue that lock onto our, our second one. Ooh, the Armored Zombie. Man, I haven't, I haven't seen that thing uh, played in a super long time for, on the original series, I'd say. Germ Infection and... Moki Moki. This card is actually kind of cool. Increase the attack and defense of the card by 300 points for every card in your hand. <laughs> guy could get really big. Swamp Battle Guard. I believe this is a card that Joey ran in his deck. Really cool. The Cheerful Coffin. Lady of Faith. All right, so we've moved things over to our Legend of Blue Eyes a booster pack. Let's see if we can pull something epic out of here. No full out of our LOB booster packs as of yet. Maybe that'll change right now. Let's take that one. That's a cool looking common, actually. The Dark King. Oh, right on, we pulled a super source of revealing light. Oh my gosh, this card gives me terrible flashbacks of my, me playing against my buddy, Paul. I swear, right when, right when I was about to pass, and this thing would be going away, I, 
he, he would end up drawing like a magician of fate, build a flip it, and add it back to his hands. So when this card's activated, uh, your your flips all face up, all face down onto your opponent's side of the field face up. Their effects are immediately activated, and your opponent can't attack for three turns. So he'd always give magician of fate to add this back to his hand over and over again. Oh my gosh! And he'd always have like these random burn cards. So I'd be taking like 800 points of damage, 500 points of damage. Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> it gives me terrible memories, but I absolutely love. The way Swords of Revealing Light looks. That is awesome. So we actually ended up pulling a foil for our LOB booster packs. That is epic. Use me to a like for that alone. It's a high five. That is epic. So hard to get a foil from an LOB booster pack. Oh my gosh. We got another final flame. And the hard armor here. Rise body heat. And we uh, don't forget we have these these blister packs over here as well. And I am really looking forward to seeing what is inside these. Let me go and actually uh, move those over here. And we have our little we'll have our little pile of foils right over here by Jerry Beans Man. We're, we're we're adjusting. We have our stuff right now. Get ourselves prepared for the second part of this video. Hopefully, we can end things here on these value cubes with another. Oop. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to open. It, it wants to open. There we go. With a nether foil would be absolutely epic. It's our last value cube that we have here to open. Nice little ultra. I ran this with for one of my super poly targets. Pretty cool. And obviously we have our giant styrofoam block. Oh, that's really cool. So what is that? Oh, nice. A DB1 rare magic drain. Very nice. Classic little rare right there. And then we have our uh, Spell Ruler booster pack and our Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. Let's see if we can pull something epic out of here. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon to end things would be <laughs> absolutely insane. Or any Toon Monster, actually. I'll take all of them. We have this creepy snail right here. Another Snake Fang. That's our first booster pack we pulled one of those. All right, so this right here should be... All right, so it's exactly like it was that one pack, except the, <laughs> the arrangement with this was different. We pulled another Suogen, uh, Suogen, <laughs> Suogen of the, the, of the Thousand Heads. Oh my gosh, we're just butchering its name. Guys, really, really cool. Definitely was a staple in all the ritual uh, ritual decks. We will normal summon and add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. I mean, that's all you need. So most of the time. And then we have our Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. Let's go and open up our last, oh no, it's not our last pack. It's actually another one in here, or one or two. Forest. All right, here's our field card. Our M Warrior, number two. Very cool. Mammoth Graveyard. Always reminds me of Yugi in, co in combination with that uh, that arrow and <laughs> going into Kaiba's uh, Kaiba's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Another Book of Secret Arts. And what do we have here? F the Flame Ghost is our rare. Okay, so I'll say this is our last chance to pull a full from our LB pack. But that is incorrect. Cause I believe we have at least one more. LOB booster pack to go. So let's go and see what these blister packs over here look like. Oops. Right, so there it is. We'll, we'll end things with that one right there. I'll actually open up this one right now, this Invasion of Chaos. So we haven't opened up any of that in today's video. Let's go and see if we can pull something absolutely epic out of it. Probably one of the best sets. Ooh, nice. It's a nice little, uh, nice full front for us to get. Skull Dread Ultra Rare, very cool. And our Invasion of Chaos, what do we have here? And, oh, Infinity Chaser, that's not bad at all. Five cards per pack, I believe this is an all foil set, so pretty nice as well. Oh my gosh, the rip tab on this does not want to rip. There's a will, there's a way. All right, there we go. Yeah, so these, you'll get five foils out of these, so pretty nice. Especially if you've been getting some bad luck on old booster packs. Open up one of these and you guarantee the foils is always awesome. And uh, nice, so we have the one of the Witchcrafter cards. This is their continuous spell card. I believe this is one of the staple three ups for the deck. Very cool. I actually have not seen a Witchcrafter deck profile yet. That's uh, I actually want to see the deck be played. <laughs> I, want, I want to watch it. It's a pretty cool looking deck. All right, so we have the Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, which is originally a Seeker, really incredibly expensive, too. And the Hidden Armory Super Rare here. Wow, actually, all these cards are really great. The Mythical Beast Jackal King. All of our full so far have been awesome. All right, so I don't know if this card's really that played, but it's really cool looking. And Dice, this is a uh, the Evil-Eyed guy, and this is really cool. The Ruler of the Evil-Eyed. 
Very nice. That is a beautiful looking secret room, my goodness. Cool, all right, so let's move over to the Invasion of Chaos. This is one of those like really iconic sets. It has Black Cluster Soldier, Chaos Emperor Dragon, uh, the Dark Mission of Chaos in here. Those are like the big, I'll say those are like the big three. But obviously there's some really, really good cards in the set. But those are like the ones that like make the set really stand out. So let's go and see if we can pull one of those things. Spirit of Pot of Greed. Nice, a Chaos Sorcerer. My gosh, that is awesome. Always gives me fond memories. I won my first regional with the deck based around that. This guy's actually played pretty good too. Oh, all right, so we got a rare Berserk Gorilla. This guy has to attack when possible. If he doesn't attack, he <laughs> gets to, he destroys himself basically. Ojama Black, Chaos End, the Tower of Barrel. Very cool. Actually, I saw this being played, it wasn't that long ago. I guess it probably has been years. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so let's open up our next one here. We have a few of these to pop up. We're gonna open the last one that we know for a fact has a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack in it. And what do we have here? Nice, a, a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon as our Ultra. That is a really beautiful looking card. Cool. All right, so what do we have on our booster pack here? We have the Mystic Fighters and then two of the Infinity Chasers. So we'll just open up these again. That last booster pack of this was actually really good. Let's go and see. And if we can carry it. So I think these are like Euro print ones too because the foil, uh, the color in these is a little bit darker. So it's pretty cool. Euro English. Very nice. Oh, nice. We, have, we end up pulling one of the Witchcrafters. And you can see why I want to see the deck be played. I mean, they look just gorgeous, don't they? That is a beautiful looking card. Gosh. It's definitely a Euro, Euro English. The, the coloring is a little bit darker. All right. On to our next booster pack of this. And let's go and see if we can go in... Get another Witchcrafter, that would be cool. Arcanite Magician, <laughs> a super rare, reprinted as a super rare. Another Hidden Armory. This was originally a prize card for uh, topping or winning a uh, YCS, so fun fact if you didn't know. And this is a really cool looking guy. They say <laughs> all of them actually look really cool. Pulled that one that was a super rare. Move that over to our pile. Let's go into our Mystic Fighters. There's a few cards in here that are pretty expensive. The prices have been fluctuating on the set, actually, like, insanely. So I don't know what uh, where a lot of these the Seekers in this set are sitting. There's another one in the set that has a bunch of super rares in it. And we have Debris Dragon. He got reprinted as a super, which is actually really cool. And then these Generator Boss cards are really cool looking as well. Another one of those decks I have not yet seen played. All right, so let's move over to our next blister, then we'll move over to the last one, which will have the Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack, which will hopefully contain a Blue Eyes White Dragon. That would be awesome. So we have a Ultra Rare Red Reboot. Not too bad. And we have our Mystic Fighters and two of these Finity Chasers again. So I have been noticing that these blisters that I've been seeing, these, around at different stores, they do have different booster packs in them. So look at your stores to see if they have them because they might have something and it'd be completely different uh, pack-wise inside of them. So we have a Magic Cylinder, which is really cool. A Nether Jackal King. Actually a really good card. And, oh, nice. It's our second copy of this. So maybe we'll pull our third one or our next booster pack. Nice little uh, staple. I believe it's a three out for the deck. Okay, here we go. The rank up magic right there. I like the rank up cards. I think those were really cool. The first time I've really seen them being played was in the Burning Abyss deck way back. That's a really cool looking card. On to our Mystic Fighters booster pack. Let's see, and then we'll move over to that last one and see if we can pull something absolutely epic out of there as well. But yeah, Mystic Fighters is a really hot set when it, when it came out. And some of the cards became outrageously expensive as well. Another Generator Boss, very nice. And we have the Lightning Dragon Ruler. So this is like the baby dragons for the big the big dragons. And now he's a House Dragon Mage. So this got reprinted in the new Gold Series set. It looks absolutely epic in there as well. I'm not sure which one's my favorite, if it's the Secret Rare or the Gold Rare. Both look really, really epic. All right, so down to our last one here. This one has a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. So maybe... Maybe it contains something really awesome in it. We'll see. And there is our next Ultra Rare that they gave to us here. And let's see what our booster packs are. So two Infinity Chasers. They were giving these packs away and these like crazy from Target. And again, they're just like rotating. They're just different every single, from every store that I see, it seems like the booster packs they put inside of them are different. 
So pretty cool. Another Mecha Phantom Beast Draco sack. One of my favorite exceeds. Really cool. And these guys are all really awesome looking. <laughs> I love the arts of them. Beautiful. All right, so on to our next Infinity Chasers. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of here. Then we'll move over to that Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack and see if we can pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, Exodia, Dark Magician, Red Eyes. I mean, there's so many amazing cards in there. The Spell Book of Knowledge Super Rare. That's a really cool card. I love the trains. Oh my gosh. I have yet to actually be on a train. I need to go and change that. And the Witchcrafter Holiday. This is one another one of the staples for the deck. Nice. We have pulled quite a few Witchcrafter cards for the deck. Now, it's time. Give me your energy. Let's see if we can pull something godly out of this Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. This is our last pack for today's video. Oh my gosh. Yeah, then we have those giveaways. I'll do a... I'll be, give, I'll be uh, announcing the winner in the comments of our next video. So, Mammoth, Mammoth Graveyard, another book of secret art. Very cool. The Metabat. Okay, here we go, right after this. It's a fusion, it can't be a foil. <laughs> Cabalzal Warrior, another instant fusion target. Really nice, unfortunately not a foil in our last booster pack, but you can't win them all on that one. Dragon Treasure. Very cool. Not bad, though. I want to say that our polls today were pretty dang good. All right, so again, look for your username in the comment section down below of this video to see if you are the winner of this Genesis Impact First Edition Booster Box. And then I'll be doing these three giveaways. So giveaway number one was a full set of Exodia the Forbidden One. Absolutely awesome. One of my fa all-time favorite cards. Literally, my screensaver on my phone is Exodia. And then our, was it the second one? I believe was the God cards. So we're going to be giving away the Wing Dragon of Raw, Slifer the Sky Dragon, All Bliss the Tormentor. And then our third winner is going to be receiving a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, and a Blue Eyes White Dragon. All you have to do is be a subscriber, hit that bell so you get notified when I post future openings. Really comes in handy so you can get notified and you'll see in the comment section down below to see if you are the lucky winner. Then comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card or like what your plans are for the 2021 year. I love reading and responding to all of your guys' comments. Happy New Year yet again. Give this video a like. If you have an Instagram, follow me on there and say hi and I will always say hi back. All right, everybody. Happy New Year's yet again. And Jobber here is signing out.